Absolutely. I think because ultimately what the Catholic Church teaches is who is the human being called to become? And I think that has really become the pivotal question that we need to reflect upon. We can no longer take it for granted that human flourishing is something that we all agree upon, up, upon what it should look like or what it should be. Many of us, in fact, assume that to be happy in life means to, to, to make money, means to have a good career. But in fact, there remains the sense of emptiness in many of us. And I think that what the church really speaks about is how ultimately human fulfillment is to be found in the spiritual dimension, is to be, find, to be found in God. And therefore, that is precisely how the church can contribute to this conversation of how we are shaping our culture in this new era by reminding us of what it really means to be human and therefore to flourish. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but I think the reality, yeah, it is a huge question, but I think the reality is that as digital culture continues to change, as we become increased, to change I mean by that, to evolve, to take its course rather, probably that is the better word. Uh, the culture continues to take its course. And therefore, as we become increasingly aware of the difficulties and the challenges that will emerge with that culture, unless we try to order it in a way that is truly conducive to human flourishing, then I think the church's voice will become increasingly relevant, precisely because we start seeing the difficulties. And therefore, I think it becomes more important to be, reminder of that, to be reminded of that important message of what it means to be human. I think, ironically, if our culture is being driven by secular values precisely because it emerged from secularity, I think increasingly it will need to become more spiritual. Ironically, I think that will be the case. Mm. And I think this is why the key issue that we are confronting is in fact how to be better able to discern. When, when Pope Francis became Pope, um, it, was, it was fascinating to see for the first time a Jesuit Pope. And it was also obvious that with his personality, he is very much of a social media pope. Yeah. And I remember reflecting on that. But I think that what has really emerged from this papacy is the focus on discernment. And what does discernment really mean? It really means that we need to be attentive to the signs of the spirit, of the spirit working among us. But we also need to be attentive to the dark spirit, of how the dark spirit could stop us from developing and from flourishing the way God desires us to flourish. And therefore, this is the kind of wisdom that we really need, the kind of this, this discernment where we can collaborate with the spirit already working in our midst and try to limit the harm that the evil spirit always, in fact, um, attempts to instill among us as well. So it is, that's why I'm saying that this spiritual dimension is so essential. And I think Pope Francis is really giving us example upon example of how to put this in practice, of the link, the powerful link between something that is inherently spiritual and how it manifests itself in the real world. The church demands of us as lay people, therefore on the economic level and on the political level, the transformation of culture um, in our daily life as lay people in particular. So yes, I definitely see that involvement of, of lay people throughout these past two days. And many of us, in fact, who are attending are, of course, lay people who are in business, entrepreneurs, but also professors. That's why I think it is a very rich dialogue.